In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you that there is a cost-effective way that's not expensive. We're talking $4 is all you need to start multi-streaming to up to three platforms and even $7 to get up to six platforms. The product is Caster Labs, and I think you guys are gonna be very impressed by what this has to offer and understand why I'm gonna be making a part two that covers kind of the features that you can add for widgets and alerts for your live stream utilizing this tool without spending any money on that aspect whatsoever. So yeah, that's it. Let's run the intro. I'm gonna talk about this and not waste a bunch of your time. Before we dive into today's content, let's go ahead and pause for a moment to consider the value of making smart decisions. Speaking of which, we're thrilled to once again partner with Mint Mobile, the pioneers in transforming the wireless industry. They're dedicated to providing premium wireless service without that hefty price tag we've all come to dread. Ever find yourself puzzled by the sky-high cost of your wireless bill? Well, if so, Mint Mobile is on a mission to demonstrate that there's a smarter way to do things. For a limited time, new customers can enjoy any three-month plan for just $15 a month. That's correct. You were hearing that correctly. 50% off their unlimited plan. Imagine accessing the nation's largest 5G network, enjoying unlimited talk and text, and all the benefits of a high-tier wireless experience at half the cost. The transition to Mint Mobile is a breeze thanks to their eSIM technology. Many of you can seamlessly switch over from the comfort of your home in as little as 15 minutes. And for those of you that prefer a physical SIM card, Mint Mobile's got you covered there with a free SIM sent directly to your doorstep. Let go of the old, overpriced, and convoluted ways of wireless. Head over to trymintmobile.com forward slash how to tech to snag this incredible offer and get premium wireless for just $15 a month. My wife and I jumped on the Mint Mobile bandwagon over a year ago, and we've been fans ever since. Who can resist the allure of significant savings? What's going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. We're gonna go ahead and jump over to the computer. Before we do get to the multi-streaming stuff, really quick, there is a reason I came across Caster Labs. I knew that there was other multi-streaming items out there and I was already planning on using one, but the one thing I was trying to figure out was chat. I wanted to be able to see chat on the screen for viewers on different platforms to be able to interact with each other. So you can go say to Twitch and you could have the same experience and even talk to the people that are on YouTube just by watching the chat that's on the screen. And I was like, I wanna be able to do that, but I also wanna be able to do it for some of these smaller platforms where some of these other multi-streaming platforms don't have chat integration working yet. And that's where Caster Labs comes in and it does a great job. And that's, something we will cover in another video for sure. Let me know in the comment section down below if you wanna see how this works. You can do this for alerts, uh, widgets and stuff that you would normally see with things like Streamlabs and um, stream alerts and things like that. If you're interested in it, let me know in the comment section down below. So without further ado, let's jump over to what I'm here to talk about today, which is multi-streaming and one stream, multiple places. That's what multi-streaming is. You can go live on multiple platforms with no extra load on your PC or internet via their multi-streamer. So for those of you that are wondering, you know, I've got really good internet. Why do I just not stream to all these platforms myself? Well, one, internet usage. Two, could be your computer not being able to handle that. But if you are aware of the other platforms that are out there, you understand that they cost money. And the reason they cost money is because they have to receive this signal and then use internet bandwidth and sometimes even computers to just kind of transcode that information to make sure the video is gonna do well on all those platforms. And then it spits it out to all those locations. So instead of you using eight megabits per second, going to Twitch, YouTube, all these other places, so eight times however many places you wanna live stream, right? You're only sending out, say that eight megabits to this place Caster Labs, they're doing all the work and then sending it out to all of your locations for you, which is why whenever you look at it and think about it, $4 a month for being able to live stream to three locations simultaneously is a really good bang for your buck whenever it comes to multi-streaming. And they also have an advanced plan for $7 a month that lets you go to six locations. And if you wanna do more, you can get up to 20 for $22 a month and even get the option to embed into your own website. It's super easy, it's super neat. There are a bunch of other features that are also coming soon. I'm not gonna get into that too much because it's not features currently enabled and working. 
but we do have the ability for say 40,000 kilobits, which translates to 40 megabits. So if you wanted to stream up to 4K resolution, which they note here, Twitch has limits on what resolution and what bit rates and stuff you can stream at, but YouTube doesn't. If you wanna stream at 4K utilizing this, you can do that for only $4 a month, which is just insane that this works and it's this cheap. With all that out of the way, there's pricing, there's information, there's why I'm excited, and I'm gonna briefly show you kind of how the dashboard works and how easy it is for you to go ahead and start streaming. So whenever you go into your streaming program, you will typically have the ability to set the platform you want. OBS and even Streamlabs now just has the integration of just essentially tying your account to it. And I personally don't like tying accounts. I like using the stream key strictly because it's not tying an entire account. But essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into OBS, you're gonna go into Streamlabs, whatever program you're using to live stream. And whenever you go to select where you're streaming to, sometimes you get the option for server, sometimes it's listed as RTMP. You're going to select server, RTMP or custom. And then this URL is gonna get pasted into the URL field. This key that is here that I'm not gonna show you because I've already got all this set up and I don't wanna change it in my program that I use for streaming, you would just click this copy button here, copy that, paste that into the stream key field below and your program side is basically all done. You will then do all the setup here for all the different platforms you wanna add. And you can see currently I've got Twitch added, I've got YouTube added and I've got Trovo added. Let's say I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to add Kick. It's as simple as clicking this button here selecting what I wanna to stream to. So I can click kick right here. And you can give it a label if you want to, but it already says kick next to it, so I know that. And then all I've gotta do is log into my kick account and paste my stream key here, and I'm done. I can stream to kick, and that's pretty neat. If you're also wanting to stream to some other platforms like your own website, or if you wanna to stream to say something like TikTok that might not be listed here, you can select RTMP, name that whatever you want. So if I wanted to name that TikTok, I can select TikTok and then just get your server URL and your stream key from TikTok, paste it in here, and then you're ready to start streaming on TikTok through this platform. And essentially what happens whenever you click the go live button or the start streaming button, it's gonna send it here and it's gonna say start streaming and we'll show you a preview here. You will see it show up. And as soon as you wanna go live to Twitch, all you gotta do is click this button here whenever you know your preview is showing up. And then you can click the same for YouTube and Trovo. And you can select, if you just wanna go live to YouTube, go YouTube. If you wanna to go to Twitch and YouTube, select both. If you wanna to go to all three, select those. And if you have a dedicated platform that you stream on more than anything, and you just always wanna make sure you go live to that platform, you can select it to auto start as soon as you click that go live button. And for the most part for me, I'm gonna set all this up and I plan on multi-streaming to all these platforms to do some tests for some videos and stuff like that for the future. I'm probably just gonna have mine set to auto start so I don't have to mess with it again and it'll just push out to every single platform. It's that easy, it's simple, it doesn't cost a lot of money. I really don't know what more you could ask for from Caster Labs whenever it comes to multi-streaming. They're keeping it cheap, they're keeping the cost down, and there's another program like we'll talk about in a future video. Once again, let me know if you're interested in that, that takes all those other features that a lot of other companies make you pay for, and they're just like, no, that's free. You just download the program and configure it however you want, and you can link all those accounts as well. So you're not really losing a bunch of features that you might think you are, and we'll cover that in another video. So all right, guys, that's gonna be all for this video. Like, subscribe, all that cool stuff, and check out this video here of where we talk about some of the pretty cool perks that you get from being an affiliate on Twitch.